there are quite a few different versions of how to play guitar and support the dancers. Uh, it started out, um, Daniel Lomax, who, who Wally Ali was talking about, you know, the red-headed, bearded man who introduced him to Mershid. Uh, he was a guitarist, and he played guitar for Mershid. For the dance. Once the dance had started, he was playing. And he had learned this opening, open tuning, I believe, from Sandy Bull, you know, the, the great musician who lived in the village, which is what we're using, most of us are using, 115, 115 in the key of G. G, G, D, G, G, D. When Daniel played, it was mostly melodic. He didn't know about chords in that. He didn't play any chords. So I started out in the G, G, D, G, G, D form, 115, 115. But so later, uh, we found all the chords in it. So there, there was a side movement, too, in the dances that people would carry around two guitars, you know, an open string and a standard, because it was too much to tune between songs. Perfectly fine. Some people only play standard, like Monir, basically, uh, who's a wonderful musician for the dances. He, he almost always just plays the standard. Anahata uses a different tuning, Narayan uses a different tuning. I mean, of the people who have a wider influence, uh, uh, Leela uses a different tuning. Uh, Wali and Ari, Wali, he uses a different tuning. And so then they've cre each of them have created styles around their tuning, and each of those tunings has its strong points and weak points. Uh, I think somehow the way that open string tuning started was uh, the call to bring some flavor of the East into the dance. And for me, that's somehow how the bazooki ended back up in the circle. So it has a kind of an authentic Eastern feel. And it actually very complimentary for the sound of the guitar. You know, guitar is more kind of bottom sound, and it's like a float on the top.